Welcome to Yacht Crew Vlogs, where we tell the stories of those in the yachting industry. A behind the scenes look that discovers the individuals in the industry, their history, their passions, and what inspires them to do what they do. Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria, I am your host, and I'm very pleased to welcome my next guest, Geraldine Hardy. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, well, you know what? I haven't seen you in many years. I think the last time that I saw you was at the Palma Yacht Show about three years ago. Um, and at that time, you were doing something completely different. You were doing yoga. Yes, I, uh, I, I am still a yoga therapist. But yes, yeah. I, I ran a yoga studio in Antique. That's very true. <laughs> but now you have created a new company. And the idea behind it is absolutely amazing. And the reason being is that I think we as people are so busy in our day-to-day -day lives that we forget to take care of ourselves. Your company is named Align Self-Care. Um, and it says it all right there. You know, self-care will align your, your mind, your body, your soul, everything. Tell us a little bit about this company and what made you come up with, because you actually have a course as well. Yes. So um, why did I choose Align Self-Care? Um, that's pretty much just documenting the journey that I experienced in the last 25 years. I've seen so many, um, within my own life, so many cycles repeating again, burnouts, um, issues with stress management, um, repeating kind of job patterns and you know, having a good job, losing a job, um, relationship patterns, and uh, patterns within myself to thought processes. And I realized, okay, how can I change this? How can I change my life? And I realized pretty much I have to work on myself. And this started really by taking care of my being, which means in every single way, the physical, the emotional, the mental, and the energetic, and as well also the, the spiritual part of myself and nurturing it. And um, I then, uh, you know, studied more and more in-depth yoga and became a yoga therapist um, specialized in trauma. So PTSD, nervous system, immune system, and cancer. And I realized how much I was actually traumatized myself. So, and through that journey, it became very clear in order for me to hold space for other people within yoga practice, I needed to start healing these parts of myself to not get triggered within yoga practice and holding space for others. And this is pretty much with anyone who takes care of, of, of others. If it's like someone who takes a psychotherapist, a nurse, mainly the people who take care of others need to really take care of themselves to hold space for others so and I learned I started studying more modalities quantum physics quantum um, the quantum field neuroscience and also alchemy healing quantum healing and going into the light hypnosis theta brainwave which addresses your subconscious mind and the more I studied, the more I realized, wait a minute, what if we just have a simple program with simple tools that all of us can do without being a sexual artist, that everyone can do these breathing exercises, everyone can do these simple movements, and everyone can start changing their thought patterns. Everyone can do it. What if we just offer these tools and make it simple for everyone and explain in simple words, what does it mean, your nervous system, your parasympathetic nervous system, your immune system, and explain people what we should all learn in school, by the way, that would be so helpful for us, especially during COVID, to actually give people and empower them the tools to take care of themselves, their immune system, their mental and emotional well-being. So that's why I came up with Align. If, if you are aligned with what is within yourself and what you stand for and you're with integrity, everything is way easier to fall into place around you, believe it or not. 
Well, when we're talking about the yachting space, I mean, everybody in the yachting space, especially yachties themselves, that is literally their job is to look after other people. And we see a lot of these crew coming along at the age of 18 or 19. So they go from being the ones looked after in the snap of a finger to being the person expected to look after others, probably more so than some parents look after their children because the expectations are so high on board. And I would imagine, you know, we see a lot of problems with drugs and alcohol, and this is possibly because they are so busy looking after so many other people that the, the moment that they can release pressure, that's the first thing that they turn to, rather than looking inward and saying, now, what I've done today for everybody on board, maybe I should even do a fraction of that for myself. Absolutely. And this is the thing, we have the tendency to push, push, push our boundaries to such a limit that we don't realize we compensate it with an extra glass of wine, with another shot of whiskey there, uh, cigarettes there, and whatever just helps you to numb your senses at this very moment and numb the reality check that you're living. That at the end of the day, your life at that very time and space Space is not entirely yours and it's up to either the owner or the, the charter client to tell you where you will be in the next 24 hours and how many hours you will be working on board and as much as it's a beautiful job to see the world and obviously earn a really good salary it is also very important to be able to learn how to set your boundaries, no matter how old you are, because the yachting industry is also more and more changing, realizing that we need to take care of our crew. We need to make sure that in order for our clients and our owners to be happy on board, we need to take care of, of crew. And this is really important. So this online program that I created on Seably is a three hour course, especially for yacht crew and seafarers who live in a, a, on a small confined space with a limited time of limited time <laughs> and space to be able to do these exercises very quickly, five minutes in between during the day. And that and was my next question my for you actually was because yeah. they are on board and they are working so much. Is this something that will help them with that? You know, for example, uh, Chief Stu says to, you know, her, her second, um, you know, let's do this course together so that we can, at the end of a hard day, we can learn how to take care of ourselves rather than go out and become alcoholics. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I'm not saying to people, you should have fun. You should go yeah. out dance and have fun. This is part of nourishing your soul. Dancing is the best, best option to move your energy around your body. You should have a good tune. You should have a laugh with your friends. Social engagement, one of the best, best nourishing tools to engage your vagus nerve in your nervous system that helps you to relax and reinforce your immune system. And yes, go out and eat it. some and good Chinese food once in a while, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything that nourishes your soul. However, everything in moderation. I'm not just telling you people now they have to become vegan. They have to be this, 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 this. No way. This is not sustainable in our modern way of living. I'm talking about nourishing your own body and your mind and being able to listen within what you need in this specific time and space. So the tools that... Yeah, I guess what it happens, though, is it, it creates a space where you're capable of making better decisions. So as you said, you are capable of going out and having a couple glasses of wine and dancing and enjoying yourself, as opposed to if you aren't doing the self-care, the temptation to overdo those couple of glasses of wine and make it a couple of bottles or whatever it may be your vice. If you are not taking care of yourself, the likelihood that you're going to want to overindulge in the good times is much greater. And absolutely, absolutely in the good times. And 
self-care does mean self-discipline and accountability. You are actually pretty much taking care and taking responsibility of your own body and mind and soul, which means you're going to, the more you're taking care care of yourself and take this moment of breathing exercise or have a five minute guided visualized meditation on YouTube. There's so many programs out there, you know, because everyone has a different, uh, resonates to a different voice, different teacher, different, you know, uh, person. And this is really important to, to, to be aware of that. You create your own self-care toolbox. I'm just offering you suggestions but I'm not telling you this is the, the, the only way to roam. This is really important. And giving us ourselves the power back to choose, to choose whether we wanna have this extra glass of wine, to choose if you would like to eat a salad or we're going to eat a burger. We have the choice. And this is taking the power back within, within ourselves. Because if you're on a boat and you don't have the choice where you're going to go, where you're going to be, you feel a bit hopeless and a bit helpless because everything is kind of decided for you. But not everything, not everything. What you, how you nourish yourself is decided by yourself only, no one else. Bringing this yeah. choice back, you know, and choosing this kind of job is your choice. Yeah. That is your choice, you know? So either we find five reasons in the morning when we wake up for gratitude, like I have a roof, to roof on top of my head. I have to see around me the beautiful blue sea. I have a blue sky around me. I have food on the table. I have great mates around me. Finding five reasons in the morning to, to, to find gratitude that sets the tone and the intention for the rest of the day. This is just one tool and it doesn't take rocket science, you know? Gratitude yeah. is one of the most powerful emotions of a frequency and vibration. And everything is energy and frequency and vibration. Grief is the lowest one and anger. So if you can manage these vibration within yourself through music, what you listen to through your thoughts if you keep on repeating your past guilt trip this is not going to work out but if you're going to start finding gratitude for the things you have that is a good start it's just exchanging things i think that's probably one of the hardest things for people to do right? you know for me anyway you always tend to focus on the things that you didn't do correctly or aren't you're not doing good enough as opposed to celebrating the achievements that you have made. Um, and, and that's not necessarily, and, that, that is obviously isn't a good thing because you, know, you push yourself and push yourself and push yourself to the point where, as you say, you burn out because you know, you're just, you know, I'm here now, well, then I better reach for here. And I think that's society's conditioning as well. Oh, this is the thing. I mean, we all grew up, especially our generation, you know, how we grew up is about the conditioning and programming, especially in the first seven years of our childhood. That's where the brain is so prone of conditioning because our brain is actually literally constantly in a theta brainwave, which is like hypnosis. So anything that we get taught at that very time is crucial for our well-being in the future. Just being mindful about this, especially for the parents among us, you know, to understand how important this is. Now, imagine if, if you have been, for instance, I have been a ballet dancer, I trained at three, when I was three. So for me, punishment by a bad look would make me cry. And I got this taught in the first four years through my ballet teacher. So you can imagine how this takes I take this within my whole life, meaning I always had the feeling I had to prove to people to do better. Yeah. So that ends up into over-pleasing, over-giving, and feeling always not being good enough. I mean, come on, who does not know that feeling? I think the majority of the population on this planet knows exactly what I mean here. You know, Although the some of us are better at... Uh... 
faking it as it were than others absolutely and if you want to be really honest to yourself and authentic that's where you look into it and you think where does this come from let me find the root and how can i heal this within myself you know how can i not get triggered that if suddenly someone says okay you got into these situations on on board when the owner is not happy or the charter client is not happy or is just in a bad mood, in a bad mood, he or she wants to give you this little box of a gift. Here, take my bad mood, sort it out. And what you just say is, thank you. No, thank you to yourself. Realize that this is not your issue. This is not about you done a really bad job in cleaning the, 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 the cabin. It's not about you. It's just about the fact that this person is dealing with their own shadows, their own demons, and let it be. How can we stay indifferent to other people's issues and neutral and stay in peace within ourselves? That, that is, that is self-care. <laughs> well, we are um, planning on bringing you on board Yachting International Radio to do a weekly, just a five minute little snippet to help people out there gain an awareness of what it is they can do to align themselves um, and, and to give themselves some self-care. Um, we're really looking forward to that. Yes, and I'm so looking forward to that. And, you know, Rhea, we looked into this three years ago when we did some snippets, you know, like about yoga and everything. At the end of the day, whatever is your meditation that can be running, swimming, that is your meditation, you know? So yeah. I'm not here to, to, to press my tools on people. It's more like suggestions, you know? And I'm always- I gotta tell you, you know, I've tried meditation like tons of times. And, yeah. and I start hearing those people's voices and I start laughing because they, they start, I don't know. It, it's like a certain person. And I've gone through a ton of different YouTube videos because I, I started having trouble sleeping. I, I, I had insomnia. And so I wanted to meditate, right? I wanted to try it out. Yeah. And everyone is like, now you're falling deeper. And they, they all have that same, like, and you go one after the other. After and The women's voices are worse. Uh, the men's voice, I don't know. It's I, just, I start laughing and it just doesn't work. Uh, and yes, and I, I get you because I was exactly in the same state. So for instance, I, I give you, I will send you a video. Dr. Joe Dispenza is, uh, is a, is very famous on the neuroscience parts when it comes to meditation. And he does a great restorative sleep meditation. And he uses binaural beats in the background. So this is all frequency and, and vibration. So which directly helps you to activate the rest and digest part of your nervous system, the power oh. parasympathetic. It helps you to be able to sleep and he uses his voice, it's not going to give you some esoteric mumble jumble, not at all. He's very down to earth. So I send it to you and try it out because like I mentioned, not every practitioner is suitable for everyone. Not at all. Yeah, no, you have that right for sure. Um, Geraldine, this course that you offer, that uh, we will make sure to provide links to it uh, underneath this yeah. interview when it airs, because I think, you know, it's, it's something that we have been focusing on. And I know that, you know, the world right now in general, and especially the auditing industry is talking a lot about mental health. And I think if we, if we are aware of our mental health before we need to be aware, it is so important because once you become aware that there's a problem, then it's too late. I mean, it's never too late, but you know, then you've already developed an issue and then there may be more things that you need to do. But if you are perfectly content and happy with your life and you start doing things like this every single day now, you will never find yourself in a situation where you need any further help because you are starting right and starting fresh. Yeah, well, okay. Um, the mental health thing is another thing that just came about now. And people yeah. not realize how important fear and controlling and managing the emotion of fear is to not get sick with COVID, to recover from COVID. 
this is really important and no one teaches you that that in mainstream media because mainstream media is there to really alter your whole consciousness in every single way so fear is something important to deal with all of us have some certain trauma and that's okay one important thing is to not identify yourself with that specific trauma disease or mental illness no you know how psychotherapists say to you you're depressed no you have a depressive moment you're anxious no there's a time in your in your life that anxiety takes place that's what the key is to understand you are not the disease the mental or emotional illness not at all this is really important because this brings the power back within to allow you to choose to work with it rather than against it. To befriend the emotion. Well, with those wise words, Geraldine, um, I am going to say thank you because um, that's a quite a powerful thought. I will make sure to let everybody know uh, when to tune in for your new upcoming show. Um, and as well, I encourage everybody to go over to Seedly and check out her course because it's, uh, I mean, what is it, $99? Yes, $99.99. Funny. Yeah. You know, it's like the number is the ending. So whatever you have dealt with, it's the end of it. Now you start something fresh. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, it's, it's, you know, the fact is most of the audience will go out and, and have afternoon drinks with their friends and spend that kind of cash so i mean it's nothing and this will last you for the rest of your life you have access through the whole lifetime and i will always add new findings on research and everything so and i will start adding also more uh, free courses on covid self-care so please watch that space definitely wonderful thank you once again geraldine it's been absolutely lovely to see thank you again you so much. and uh, we'll have to repeat that chinese food we had the last time you were here please we need to we need to yeah i think <laughs> that that was in santa catalina wasn't it i'm not really sure I, that was a while back yeah it that. was yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a wonderful afternoon anyways it was great thank you geraldine so lovely to see you again you lovely have been see- watching Thanks. You have been watching another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. This has been a Geraldine Hardy from Align Self Care. Make sure to watch this space to find out when her self care with Geraldine is coming at you shortly. My name is Ria. I have been your host. We'll see you again next time.